What is that? The DTX? Taking some line. That's the DTX. Taking a lot of line. Oh, oh, fish on right here. That one's on. Go, go, go. There's a good That's fish. Good. Really good fish. Yeah, He's about to run it over. Tell him I had to run it over. This, a, this thing's dumping me. No, this is small. You're still getting dumped? I'm getting dumped. Uh, Not yet. Guys sweet. Come, hey, come over top of me if you can. Which way? Are, well, hold on, Rod. Pitch. You got to come that way. I got to come to the left. Under me, under me. And spread up the rail and I'll... Uh, this is no joke. It's a real one. It's a good joint. fish? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's not a 30-pounder. The great thing, the rail and fighting all. two big tunas at one time, it's a challenge. You got two big, angry fish screaming off in different directions. I'm starting to drag Rush's fish if okay. I keep going backwards. Okay, I'll move up the rail and see if I can pull them there. You might want to swap sides, Rush. You're trying to keep these fish separated. You're trying to keep the two anglers separated. For me and Ali, yeah, obviously we have the challenge of keeping the fish on the line. For Ben, he has the challenge of putting the boat in the right spot. Man. I, I was just putting that one out, Ali, that you were, when this rod went off. You were just letting it out? Yeah. Wow. And I fished to the boat in 15 minutes, and you know, he was impressed. Oh, that's a nice oh, that's fish. <laughs> Hold him up there. Got him? That's a real model, brother. <laughs> yeah. We can kind of tag team it. For a Florida guy to primarily take his rod, lay it on the rail, and smoke, and I mean smoke, a big yellowfin tuna brought a little tear to my eye. This is a different breed of yellowfin. I mean, like, these are travelers. They're strong. They're not fat guys that have been sitting on structure loading up. It's probably different between me and Rush. This is definitely an upgrade on your um, yesterday's model. Uh, I like your upgrade. Yeah. He come there up he high is, on Archie. that. That's a good fish, brother. He's on his side. You just got to horse him up. Just corkscrew him. Low or high? Oh, low for sure right now. As soon as he goes up and down, man, staying low. low. Yeah. Hell yeah. Is it? Look at the sickles on it. Are you kidding me? It's sick. Yeah, don't this move. Way. Don't move. Don't come move. Down. You're okay. He'll come back out. Right? Look at that fish, son. In the guts. Yep. You got Woo! it. Okay. It, it's a little stressful when you have two big tunas on. Uh, we didn't know how big they were, but just from our experiences in the past, knowing tuna fishing, you could tell that these were special fish. Gonna be at the office. Uh. Good job, buddy. Okay, we're gonna get this fish in. Okay, you yeah, ready? We're pulling him up. One, two, two three. three. Goers out. When you get a fish to the boat super quick like that, it's erratic. Okay, but if it's had a really long fight. It's burn up all its energy, and once you get it to the boat, it's pretty well done. So it was incredible to see these guys fish that way. They really impressed me in terms of how much pressure they put on those fish. Oh, oh, here you go. He's coming in. Watch out, boys. Everybody get clear. Get yeah. clear. <laughs> that thing is a beast. Oh, it's a pig. Yeah, OK, oh, go, easy, Micah. Boys. For me personally, I had an amazing experience with these guys with the tuna fishery because I learned so much from them. I felt like all I needed to do was get these guys in the right spot and they were gonna do the rest. Yes, 180. boys. 185? We didn't even get one, we got two. Oh, I know, <laughs> silly. I literally, Ollie was letting your line out, that one went off, I dropped it and grabbed it and the, the other one ate that one. Well, I'm glad you did. You called it straight away though, you were like, this is proper. Big fish. Yeah. Sure. dumping right now. Well, good job boys, you killed Dude, it. Yeah, that is like, for me, that's such a bucket list fish. A big yellowfin with the big sickles. We came here with a couple different missions. We definitely want to catch some yellowfin tuna, take a look at the offshore fishing, maybe marlin or mahis. But the other side of that coin is I want to show Rush some of that stuff that I was fortunate to catch in Australia. The GTs, the Spanish mackerels, all the emperors, the coral trouts, and the list goes on and on and on.